Hello Physics Nation! My name is Nate Larmond and I'd like to do a simple problem about pressure and Pascal's principle specifically. This question is from OpenStax 11.5 and it reads, A crassed host pours the remnants of several bottles of wine into a jug after a party. He then inserts a cork with a 2 centimeter diameter into the bottle, placing it in direct contact with the wine. That is, no air gap at the top of the jug. He is amazed when he pounds the cork into place and the bottom of the jug with a 14 centimeter diameter um, dimension breaks away. Calculate the extra force exerted against the bottom if he pounded the cork with a 120 newton force. Okay, so as I said, this problem is about Pascal's principle, which states the pressure is constant no matter what the shape of the container if you are at the same horizontal level. And uh, honestly, we are ignoring the pressure due to the column height of fluid above um, the bottom of the jug compared to the top of the jug. So basically, as the diagram spells out, the pressure at this point in the fluid is equivalent to the pressure at this point in the fluid. And all we do is set those two pressures equal to each other, and this is the definition of pressure, force divided by area. We're trying to find the force exerted by the fluid on the bottom circle of the jug due to the top force. So uh, all you do is um, solve for F2. So we're going to multiply both sides by A2. That puts the proportion of areas as the coefficient multiplied by the first force. Uh, they're circles, and so we do the area as pi r squared, pi is constant, and so, uh, you know, radius is half the diameter, the fours cancel out, and so we're left with the ratio of diameters squared as being the coefficient multiplied by the original force applied to the top of the jug. And, uh, this is the ratio of diameters. So this diameter is seven times, that is the bottom is seven times bigger than the top diameter. However, we are squaring that ratio. So instead of getting a seven-fold increase in force, we are going to get a 49-fold increase in force. And what that means is, whoops, what that means is uh, 49 times the original pressure is, <laughs> I can't get back to it, 49 times the original force is 5,880 newtons. But notice, I made a classic mistake. I said, what's the force? Instead of reading their question, they wanted the extra force. Had I calculated that, um, you have to take the pressure, 5,880, and subtract the original force. They want the additional force. And when you do that, 5,880 minus 120, uh, you will actually get the answer that they give you. Hang on, right there. 5,760 newtons of extra force. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.